Do you have a DonorsChoose.org project that needs funding? Today's sponsor is Advancement Courses, and they are donating 10% of their sales until September 28th to DonorsChoose.org projects. And if you're needing professional development for yourself, you get 20% off their 200 plus online PD courses using the special code just for 10 minute teacher listeners. So stay tuned at the end of the show. Here we go with a disruptive episode that could save a lot of schools a lot of money. Episode 367, How to Make a Yearbook with Google Slides. The 10-Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. So today we're talking with Jennifer Scott. 18 year teacher from California and this year she's teaching seventh grade. Jennifer, how do you create a yearbook in Google Slides? Well, first of all, we don't want to simply just put pictures on a slide. We want to teach students how to do photography. We want to teach students how to do graphic design. And then it's so simple. You change the page size in Google Slides. That's all you do. So is this replacing your physical yearbook? Is How does this work? Yes, it replaces a physical yearbook. So I look back at my mother's yearbook from the 1960s when she went to San Jose State. My mother came from a farm working family, not a lot of money, and she has this yearbook and she's not in it because she couldn't afford to be in it. And so now we have yearbooks at the high schools that cost over $100. And that's just not equitable. It's not fair to the students who don't have the money to get the yearbook. Companies are taking so much money when we can use free apps. So we can use Google Slides and Google Photos. We can organize the yearbook in Google Sheets and Google Docs. There's just so much free stuff out there that we really need to pass on those savings to the students. Okay, so how did this start and how have you ended up with it now? Because you're kind of like this Google Slides yearbook expert now. Yes, this is my Google Innovator project. So back in 2014, way before I was that, that happened in 2016, I got this grant from Lightspeed called Amazing Grants. And I got a whole creative writing class out of it. My my principal gave it to me and I'm thinking, well, what are we going to do? Oh, we have time to do a yearbook. And I looked at a standalone computer and I'm thinking, I'm not doing a yearbook on one computer. That's just ridiculous. So I did this and I don't recommend it. We did our entire yearbook into Google Docs. Mm. Yeah, don't do it. It worked. It really worked. Our yearbook was $10, $15 and 20 at the last moment. And it. The next year, I see I met Michelle Armstrong and she's part of the EdTech team for Canada series. And she said, don't use Google Docs. I'm like, but we did. And she was shocked. And she said, "Okay, girl, you need to use Google Slides. Mm. And from there, we just launched and it's gotten better and better and better since then. Okay, so you're putting it in Google Slides, but you're printing it as a PDF or you're sending it off to the printers or how are you doing it? You can send it off as a PDF to the printers. You can actually click on the share button and send it to the printer. The okay. question, it, um, it, d- it really depends on what the printer wants you to do. I use Google Classroom. I organize the sections, the yearbook sections into parts, nothing more than 15 pages. And then students are assigned to those sections. Oh, so they have the sections and then you kind of pull them together and do the import slides feature? Oh, you mean the students pull them together because this is all a student job. Oh, so the students pull them all together. Oh, absolutely. Uh So I have student editors, my student editors that I haven't chosen for this year, but I have an idea who they're going to be already. Those student editors are my Google Classroom co-teachers and I train them. And then they put the whole thing together. So one of the biggest things we're focusing on this year is photography. And three days a week, we're going over captions. On Mondays, we're choosing which, is the, which are the best pictures that were taken last week and why. We are labeling their faces in Google Photos. We're putting them to albums that we organize in Google Sheets. And then on the other days, we're writing captions. And they're getting so good. 
we have the yearbook photos that we all pose for, right? You know, with yeah, yeah. all the kids in school. Do you actually pull those in? Yes. Really? So, okay. So let me explain how that works. What that works is we have a company that comes in and the students pay them to buy their pictures. And of course we promote them because they're doing good work, but they give us those pictures as part of, Hey, we want to come to your school, choose us. And they also gave us a software. So we have over 630 students. I'm not going to individually put each student's picture in. We use their software. We put it into a PDF. There is um, ooh, combinepdf.com, I believe, or .org. You can also make those into pings and take out the background and just put them on top of the slide. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you can actually customize the background and you're just pulling in the photos with the names already directly from your photographer. Exactly. Oh, that's genius. But if you're a smaller school, I created something. I call it an image size template. Basically, you have a Google drawing. You put, make a background color, whatever you like, and you download it as a ping. Then when you bring it back up into Google Slides, what you do is you format it to the exact size you want. And you can create a layout. So if you were to go to my website, which is slidesyearbook.com, all of the directions are there. So in particular, what I'm talking to you about is under the section called yearbook and then layout. I'm just astounded. I mean, I, I, I guess the yearbook companies just kind of groan when they see this because, you know, so many schools are just spending an incredible and exorbitant amount of money creating the yearbooks. And here you are, you know, printing them for 15 to $20 a piece and creating them in Google Slides. I mean, is that upsetting the apple cart? Do you still feel like you're getting the, the quality of teaching the kids how to create a professional looking yearbook, even without a yearbook company? It's gorgeous. I can send you examples of what my students have done. They are gorgeous. There was one year I didn't have the yearbook and another teacher did it. And he said, OK, go do whatever you want. You have this page. You have this page. And I thank him for taking over when I couldn't. But it doesn't have the quality. So you really, really, really have to teach graphic design, which means now all their scroll work, all their schoolwork is going to look better. You're talking about infographics, you're talking about presentations or making comic strips, you can do anything that look good. I mean, I have entire lessons on color and fonts, the design tools that are in Google Slides. So is there any kind of size limit for how much you can have in your Google Drive? Because I've got to think that your Google Drive is just huge. Oh, I think I have. Oh, I can look at it right now. My school one. Remember, it's unlimited. Oh, my. Your school yeah, is unlimited. Un oh, your school's unlimited. So my yeah. storage right now in my school is 74.4 gigabytes. I mean, that's huge. Wow. And all that's in there and you're just pulling in this. In, and so I, I'm just trying to get my arms around this. So you're yeah. getting getting the automatic tool from your photographer. So you're not having to yeah. import all those tiny little photos. And it's already got the names all spelled correctly and everything. And then well, you, you can I customize the background. And you just agree on all your photos and people submit their pieces and then a student pulls it all together. And then there you go. Now, do you give everybody the link to the electronic copy if they just want to see it online and maybe not pay the $20 for their printed copy? We haven't done that yet. And that's because that link's not going to be there forever. Ah, but okay. I'm pretty sure we could probably I mean one of my friends who does yearbooks and they're at the high school and they're still using their company. They're like, well, what about YouTubes? And you can have these QR codes and you can do these YouTube videos. I'm like, that sounds great. But I think they're going to be only momentarily because what's going to happen in 50 years? Are they really going to be there? What do you do for your cover? Oh, that's the art club. So are you printing it on some kind of cardstock or, or what are you printing yes. it on? So what happens is the art club makes their work. Mr. Garcia is absolutely incredible and the artwork is fabulous. Um, we send it to the district office. We don't even have an outside publisher. We use our own school district. Wow. And they print it bigger than, you know how it's eight and a half by 11? They'll mm -hmm. print it, you know, outside that margin. They'll do a color bleed on a cardboard stock and then they'll bind it for us. And it looks professional. It looks better than my son's yearbook two years ago. What's the biggest mistake that you've made with this, Jennifer? Using Google Docs. 
that, that was a nightmare. Was, that, that, that was a nightmare. And then sometimes you do get technical difficulties. So I sent the I shared last year's presentation I call it a presentation the yearbook with our district office and it was more than 115 pages so he went to download on his computer and it wouldn't download so we had to piece it together differently but on my website I I explained to you what your possible problems are and how you can fix it. And this is now an online course. Yes, and you've agreed to give away one enrollment, right? One enrollment. So you can take this course. It's $350 for the course. And then if you want to get the credits, it's going to be a little bit extra. And you can learn photography, graphic design, how to create that yearbook and about the publishers, because the publisher thought part is the hardest. I have a list of publishers they can go to. I would recommend printing something from them before the end of the year to see what their quality is. But I mean, $10 yearbooks, $15 yearbooks, how can you pass that up? Can I tell them how they're going to enter to to go in the drawing for the free course? Please do. Okay. What we're asking you to do is to go leave an iTunes review for the 10 Minute Teacher. So if you could go to coolcutteacher.com forward slash iTunes, it will take you to the iTunes store. Just log in with your Apple ID and leave a review. But we want you to mention Jennifer Scott. And the yearbook, Google Slides yearbook episode. Now, we also need you to include your Twitter handle or if it's Instagram, just say, hey, this is my Instagram handle so that we can take those and put them, Lisa Durf will take them off the reviews. And after about two weeks after this airs and we'll shake them up and draw one and contact you and you'll get a code for the free course. Thank you, Jennifer. That sounds so wonderful. (laughs) Yeah. Google Slides Yearbook. Yes, you can. I have a feeling this is going to promote some very interesting conversations in a whole lot of schools. Definitely want to go to her website, slidesyearbook.com. Thank you for this fantastic idea, Jennifer. You are welcome. From now until September 28th, Advancement Courses, an online provider of professional development for K-12 teachers, is donating 10% of their sales to funding DonorsChoose.org projects. Go to advancementcourses.com forward slash give to submit your project today. And if you're in need of professional development, the 10-Minute Teacher listeners like you can get 20% off any online courses with the code COOL20. That's C-O-O-L-20. With this coupon, a three-grad credit course for continuing education, salary advancement, or recertification is only $359. So go to advancementcourses.com forward slash coolcat to learn more and make sure you use that coupon code COOL20. Never stop learning. Thank you for listening to the 10-Minute Teacher Podcast. You can download the show notes and see the archive at coolcatteacher.com forward slash podcast. Never stop learning.